Okay, so I'm doing my clock mold again and this time I'm using just some fine crushed glass that's kind of a silvery color. I just want it as kind of mirrored and sparkly. And this is a sandy tan color just from craft stores. I'll try to provide links if I can find the link. And I'm doing again what I did on the last one. I'm, I brushed the mica powder into the mold and what this does is it makes the back side of your clock not so transparent so that when you put your black clock mechanism behind it it doesn't show through as much and I'm gonna do black I want something really kind of high contrast this time so it's not going to be an ocean colored one but I wanted this shimmer of blue to peek through that black and we're, we're going to see if it happens. I'm not really sure if it will or not. The mica powders I used were rose gold. This is from Deluke Art Etsy shop and they're turquoise and I'm going to be using the, the Passion Top Cell White. I tried it on coasters and I used the base cell white which was the wrong one to use so I'm going to use the correct one this time and hopefully get some interesting lacing top cell white uh, for the waves and this beautiful color here is Funshine Color Shop. It's called Cloud Blue and it's a blue with a golden cast to it so I thought that would be really pretty to blend in with that and then I'm going to add uh, I'm just going to do black Bombay ink with some sparkle white which will not change the color but it will give it some shimmer just for fun. So that's the uh, pigments that I'm going to mix in. I put a little rose gold here that I'm going to mix in a cup. I'm going to do a bigger cup of the black and then the rest will be clear and the white will be the hopefully the wave action here. So here we go. I'm going to mix about 15 ounces of resin I think and we're going to see what happens. One other thing I want to show you is I found these nice little flexible silicone sticks. You just bend and I'm trying not to do it over my mold. You bend it and that sil the uh, resin the resin just pops right off when you bend it. I like that uh, feature about these. They remind me of popsicle sticks. I don't like the thick silicone sticks. They're super thick. I just don't like the thickness of them. For stirring a big container of something, yes, but not for in the cups. I like to have a smaller stick that's a little bit more flexible. So I just thought I'd show you those little cute silicone sticks and I'm going to get my gloves on, put my mask on and get to work mixing.
I forgot to mention Blackbird in the black pigment with the Bombay ink and the sparkle white. I can't get waves, cells. Not, I don't know what my problem is, but this is a medium viscosity. The last one I did was thick viscosity, but I used a different brand for the white. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and kind of make it marbly looking. You know, just work with what you can. It's still pretty. Uh, it just doesn't look like waves and that's fine. It'll be a beautiful clock one way or the other, right? So I am going to cover this baby up. <laughs> 